Yo, it's Real Talk Hip Hop. I'm your host, Joe. I'm your friend, Jay Diggs. <laughs> Na 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 na, look how it turn up. Look how the gal them run up. They trying to party with me, with me from sundown to sun up. Yeah, shot the lick off in the air. Put your... Yo, Jay, honestly, I, I I listened to the music, and I noticed a lot of your music. Uh, I don't want to classify it as you know club music, yeah. but it's like feel good music. Yeah. Like you know, uh, when you hear Jay Diggs track, you kind of you know you're gonna dance, uh, you're gonna have a good time. So when I say uh, the phrase you know feel good music, what pops into your head? Exactly what you just described. Um, I, I always knew what what I needed to do musically. Like I started off. I grew up in the hood, and I started off doing doing the gangster shit, you know. And then after a while, you know, my engineer of almost what 20 years now. My engineer has been with me from the beginning. He he was the one that was like, you need to stop rapping about that shit, and because you're not, you don't look like a thug. Even if you think, even if you are from the hood, they nobody gives a shit. So then then I was like, okay, cool. All right, I'll, I'll try this. I tried it, and women reacted, and I was like, I'm doing it forever. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I can be your Superman, Superman, Superman. Yeah. I can be your Superman, Superman, Superman. Yeah. So do you sometimes miss uh, the old way you, you rapped? Um, it's it, yeah, it's a, it's a it's a give and take thing. Um, I definitely, but that's why I you know that's the the great thing about releasing mixtapes and stuff like that. You can do what you what you really want to do away from stuff like that 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 you know is gonna be on the radio or be on uh, be in a video yeah. or you know or yeah, in the yeah, club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, at least there there is a medium for for expressing myself the way I really want to. And uh, this actual this EP is pretty much that. And I know you toured with dudes like uh, LL Cool J. You know, these are elite dudes. You know, the whole situation with the shady aftermath uh, yeah, yeah. and Ludacris. So is are there any specific or is there any specific moment during that time period that will always stand out to you? During like the beginning like, days, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was that was at a time when, you know, you can still sell records. That was at a time when you could put out a physical album and you actually did something with it. You know, now it's uh, you don't. It's so, the, the game is so weird and yeah. different, and the internet's taking over everything. It's you have to adapt. I'm I'm 26, but I'm still, I'm I'm still old. Yeah. Compared to this this new industry. So I'm I'm still adjusting personally. So like any if anything, I I look back and I reflect and I reminisce on how amazing that time was. It was a different time, you know. And, and you know, even in when you watch the Push It Up video, you you could tell how young you were, and that. And another dope uh, thing I found about that, you work with Director X. Yeah. So do you you know what is your relationship with him now? And you know uh, how how was the experience uh, working with someone like that? Yeah, he uh, he actually discovered me. He. Um, his uh, childhood friend, Ramel Carey, uh, he was, uh, he's the one that actually discovered me. He came into my basement in the hood, straight <laughs> up. And you know, he, he'll tell you to this day, his story was always be, I found digs with holes in the socks. And, he's, and it's true, because he did, I was, we had nothing, we had no money. I was just there with my beat machine and my, and my mic and my, and my inbox and <laughs> just, you know, just, just doing it, man. Do you, do you feel like you've changed since you know uh, push it up to your you know EP two weeks notice? My album, last album was 2008. I took almost five years off to to craft my 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 profession and really make sure that the next product I brought out was the best absolute product I can bring out. And I'm I feel strongly about this this product and the and the and the next album that's coming out in the states next year. So. How, how about the production side? Because I know you, it's not just music, you do uh, some production. So how do you feel about that in the game now when you see a lot of artists, you know, uh, just not rapping? Like for instance, a, uh, and a guy I interviewed up and coming out of uh, Toronto, Ras Fresco, he does the rapping, but you know what, he, he does uh, the production side. So do you think that's kind of important nowadays that an artist is uh, versatile? Definitely, you need something to draw people now it's not like you can't just have raw talent and that's it you need you need more than that to sell this audience this yeah. new world this new internet based world they want to see a lot more than just a, a song and, a, yeah. and an album and a video they want like they want to know you personally now yeah. and it's a, and it's it's uh it's a it's a pro and a con this new world but i mean you gotta 
you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta roll with the punches. Do you like do you like one better? Like do you like doing the music, or is it you know is it is, is it kind of the same? It's it's I I kind of stepped back from producing a bit because I I um I wanted to master. Yeah. The, the rap side of everything. So I stepped back for I haven't really produced in a while. I, I, I and I and I kinda tend to um to uh, stray away from my own production because yeah. I tend to get tired of it. Right? Before I even before I even record the song I'm tired of it. Yeah. So now when I hear I don't I, I don't listen to beats until I'm in the studio. So I get the vibe right away and I record right away. I don't write anything before. I write it all in the studio. And the vibe has to be there with everything yeah. I do, right? So with me making a beat, I've heard it so many times. I'm just like, ah, I'm I over it. Yeah. A fan goes to pick up two weeks notice or Eddie J Diggs product. What can they expect? What are they going to get when they when they listen uh, to J Diggs? Um, I'm pretty much 100% me. I am like I'm in a really good place in my life and career and business that I know exactly what I want to put out and exactly how I want it to sound. So um, definitely 100% me and definitely nothing that's relevant now. I've never I've always strayed away from putting out what's relevant. I'm not like I don't like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially now with this this whole trap movement, it's like it's getting to be too much. Too much, yeah. You know what it's I mean? Soft. This EP and the album next year is my way of getting people away from that shit and, and re reminding people what rap music well, and hip-hop yeah. music really is, you know what I mean? How do you feel about the, the hip-hop scene in Toronto? We right? have incredible artists. We have some of the best artists in the world coming from Toronto, coming from Canada. I have, I'm a fan of most of them, like 95% of them. Rich Kid is one of my favorites. Um, there's a bunch of them out there that, that are doing amazing things. and working hard all those producers that have you know that drake helped bring over to this like t minus and, and wonder and everybody like we have so much talent it's unbelievable and americans are scared they're really scared of us that's why they're kind of keeping kind of <laughs> keeping us away you know how, how do they how do people you know reach j diggs or uh, you know if they like a song you know how can they how can the fans find you or find your music the website is jdiggsmusic.com uh twitter is diggs world you know, uh, YouTube is Playboy Digs. It's all, it's all in just jdigsmusic.com. You'll find everything. Yo, check it out. Two weeks notice. I appreciate the interview. Realtalkhiphop.ca. Check it out. Peace. Go, 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 tell them not to come.